on this episode of Today at the Bay. Texas goes rogue. Myanmar faces a rising death toll. The Miami Heat and the New Orleans Pelicans go head to head. Hello everyone, my name is Wilfred Kiate. And I'm Isabella Perotti. Today, Today at the, the Bay, Bay starts right, right now. Read Across America Day is a day for children to read and celebrate legendary children's authors, notably Dr. Seuss, as it falls on his birthday. President Biden left out all mentions of Dr. Seuss in his proclamation for the event. We don't have official word on the Biden's intentions for leaving Dr. Seuss out, but the word is that it was due to progressives looking to cancel the author because of alleged racial undertones in his books. With past presidents being big fans of the children's author and Obama even calling him inspirational, this action by Biden was a shock to many. On March 2nd, Texas Governor Greg Abbott officially announced that he will be removing the state's mask mandate due to development and distribution of vaccines for COVID-19. He believes that the masks are no longer needed as the vaccines will protect the state's residents from the virus. Following this, Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves stated that he will be lifting the state's mask mandate due to the plummeting cases and the production of vaccines. With states such as Alabama soon to follow, it seems as though COVID-19 restrictions are close to being obsolete. 54 protesters are now dead in Myanmar following military forces opening fire upon a crowd protesting the military coup that occurred in February. The protesters are requesting the release of Democratic officials, most of whom are being held captive under soldiers. Due to this chaos, it's come to the attention of many that a sense of law and order is failing, as police forces claim death did not occur due to any rioting tools or weapons. A very tense situation indeed. Speaking of which, let's have a look at the Barcelona game. Now it's time for sports. Last Wednesday, FC Barcelona played a dramatic semifinal against Sevilla for La Copa del Rey by 3-0. Barcelona had to score three goals and not grant any goal from Sevilla to qualify for the finals. With goals from Dembele at minute 15 of the match, Gerard Pic at 94, and Martin Braithwaite at 95, Ter Stegen saved Barcelona by saving a penalty that would have given Team Sevilla the pass to the finals. Sevilla playing with 10 players since minute 92 of the game gave Barcelona a brief minute to catch air. Gerard Pete got injured after the game and will be out for around three weeks. On March 4th, the Miami Heat played against the New Orleans Pelicans. Even though both teams showed extreme effort to win this game, the Pelicans are missing a big asset to their team, Zion Williamson, due to a toe injury. In the first half, the Heat was in the lead with 31 points and 55 points in the second. In the third quarter, the Heat was still in the lead by seven. The final score was 103 for the Miami Heat and 93 for the New Orleans Pelicans. Jimmy Butler had 29 points this game and helped the Miami Heat get in the lead with 98 and the 87 points with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left. That's all for today's episode of Today at the Bay. Make sure to follow us on all social media at Cypress Bay CBTV and add us on Snapchat at Cypress Bay TV. I'm Wilfred Chiate. And I'm Isabella Perotti. Have a great great day, day, Cypress Cypress Bay. Bay.